Yo yo yo, me's cute nerds crew. Time to exit Vim in your comfort zone. Today's video, Pinta vs. Inkscape? Definitely that's not gonna go good. Let's go. First things first, what is Pinta? It's a simple GTK hash paint program. The hash basically means it's written in C sharp, and as you can see, it has an active development. But what you might not realize is that this program is fucking old. Actually, it's at least 16 years old. Some of you might not have even existed as a thought back then. And, um, Pindot is not just a GTK paint program, but is a shameless clone of the paint.net. Do you guys know that? <laughs> anyway, it's this thing here. Which was a 2022 Microsoft Store Awards winner. What the hell is so wrong with the American voters? To be fair, though, Pina is quite popular on Flathub, too. Okay, 240k might not seem like a huge number, but considering the features of the program... Seriously guys, what are you even using it for? <laughs> On the real though, only 2k stars. I guess that's not developer's favorite. Anywho, let's check out the releases for a bit. Basically, Series 2 is the current stable and nobody cares about it, but this week we also have the beta release of Series 3. Which we do care! And let me tell you... Why? To the changelog then? BTW, it's unreleased, but they work for Flathub Beta. And so we have the port from GTK3 to GTK4 and Lib Adwaita, yay! Also, the minimum.net version is now 8, it was 6 before. And of course we have some new paint features, like the outline object effect or the align object, um, but honestly, the application is still extremely basic to really care about features. I'm sorry Pinta developers, but it's true and you know it. However, I still find it super interesting to show it to you, just to highlight how awesome the move from the standard GTK to Adueta look and feel is. We're starting with Pinta 2 and GTK3, and we have a title bar, a menu bar, this toolbar here, the new image dialog, our tabs bar, um, I think this is Cairo graphics, and finally our quit dialog, um, Pindo 3 in GTK4. For starters, we have a header bar that on the left side contains the file operations tools, and the menu has moved on the right side, and it's now an icon menu, pretty much. The new image dialog remains the same as before, which means not everything has been ported to Adwaita yet. For example, here we should have a dialog with a flat header bar, but instead we have flat tabs that are now only visible when there's more than one, and to be honest, they don't feel quite right. The drawing tools are pretty much the same, and last but not least, the cute new exit dialog with accent colors. Oops, I almost forgot, since this is Adwaita, and since I'm already using Adwaita 1.7... Ta-da! I present to you, Pinton Tablets. Though, honestly, I don't think it makes much sense there either, because I don't believe the pressure sensitivity on brushes works well. Or works at all. <laughs> Okay, in Scape 1.5, that's the GTK4 port, but unfortunately it's not production ready. It's not like those programs that claim to be in preview but actually work fine. In Scape 1.5, at the moment, is completely unusable. The theme doesn't work, it's full of bugs, it crashes. It basically reminds me of that time I installed Plasma. <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> but, anywho. Code issues aside, I think that Inkscape contributors should have ported directly to Adwaita. What do you guys think, huh? There is this mock-up, so they obviously have thought about it, and perhaps it will happen before the final release, which I don't believe will be anytime soon. We'll see. But I have this question. What's going on with the actual drawing? This is Cairo Graphics, and I think this library is pretty much dead. So, 